can we lower your blood pressure with a simple cup of tea? Today, we're going to dive right into these key questions. Number one, what are the best teas to lower your blood pressure? Number two, how much tea should you drink? Number three, how long does it take to see an effect in your blood pressure? And question number four, what about tea extracts? And I will have a bonus tip at the end of the video. We are zeroing in on the prominent three, green tea, black tea, and hibiscus tea. Let's explore how these teas can help lower your blood pressure. But why focus on blood pressure? Because high blood pressure is a major cause of heart attacks, strokes, kidney disease, and congestive heart failure. In the US alone, we have 125 million people uh, who are battling uh, high blood pressure. But don't worry, I'll get some terrific tips for you today. Hello friends, I'm Dr. T, your trusted cardiologist and heart patient myself. Question number one, what are the best teas to lower your blood pressure? Not all teas are created equal when it comes to blood pressure. Let's look at green tea. It is renowned for its abundant health benefits, particularly uh, the impact on cardiovascular health. Uh, it's derived from the leaves of the Camellia sinensis plant. And green tea is minimally processed, preserving its rich antioxidants. And let's dig why green tea is a superstar when it comes to managing your blood pressure. Green tea promotes vasodilation. Uh, the alkaloids in the green tea uh, lead to relaxation of the blood vessels, improving the blood flow, and reducing the blood pressure. And they are rich in uh, the oxidants. Uh, they are teeming with the catkins. And in addition, green tea is uh, a source of vitamins A, uh, B vitamins, and even vitamin E, important for your skin and hair health and contains tannins that avoids uh, and prevents uh, constipation. In addition to lowering blood pressure, green tea reduces the cholesterol, especially the LDL cholesterol, the so-called bad cholesterol, and even supports weight management. Green tea aids in weight loss by boosting metabolism. How much drop in blood pressure can you expect? Uh, studies on green tea, even in healthy individuals, have shown that green tea can lower systolic blood pressure, higher number by three points, and the lower number, the diastolic by one. But in people with high blood pressure, that effect is even higher. It can lower your systolic blood pressure by five millimeters of mercury, and they are diastolic by two millimeters of mercury. And longer the duration of the tea intake, three months or more, greater the reduction in both systolic and diastolic uh, blood pressure. And in a meta-analysis, examined the cardiovascular effects of green tea. It was shown that one cup a day increase in green tea consumption associated with 10% reduction in the risk of coronary artery disease. Let's look at black tea. Black tea is the most prevalent type of tea worldwide. It's one of the four types of tea made using the uh, leaves of the Camellia sinensis plant. The black tea undergoes a different processing method that involves full oxidation of their leaves, and this gives the black tea its distinctive uh, color and robust flavor. Let's look at the benefits of black tea. Let's look at effects on the blood pressure. Regular consumption of uh, three cups of black tea a day over six months have shown to decrease systolic blood pressure by three millimeters of mercury diastolic by two millimeters of mercury. And they're rich in uh, special antioxidants, T-flavins and quercetin that help lower your cholesterol and quercetin helps lower your blood pressure. And they improve your vascular uh, function. The uh, regular consumption of black tea improves the function of the endothelial cells which the line the inner uh, side of your blood vessels promoting better blood flow and reducing your blood pressure. And they also can lower your blood sugar. Uh, drinking black tea without the added sugars, without the added sweeteners can lower your uh, glucose, 
uh, very important for people with pre-diabetes or diabetes, and even has some anti-cancer uh, properties. The tea studies have shown that at least two cups of tea a day may reduce the risk of stroke by 16% and the death from any cause by 13% compared to people who do not drink any tea. I have a world of caution regarding uh, black tea. Uh, number one, we need to be aware of the amount of caffeine. Too much caffeine uh, could cause increased irritability and difficulties in falling asleep. And black tea is also high in oxalates, not good if you have uh, kidney stones. Let's look at hibiscus tea. People have been using hibiscus seeds and flowers and leaves and stems for uh, centuries and lowering blood pressure uh, has been one of the benefits of hibiscus tea because it can reduce the systolic blood pressure by 7 to 8 millimeters of mercury and diastolic the lower number between 1 and 4 millimeters of mercury and is potent antioxidants. Uh, the hibiscus tea is rich in uh, anthocyanins, uh, which give it uh, red color and help reduce inflammation and oxidative stress. And regular consumption of hibiscus tea has been shown to lower not only high blood pressure, but also uh, high blood sugar uh, and also the high cholesterol, especially the high LDL, the so-called bad uh, cholesterol, reducing the risk of metabolic syndrome. Let's look at question number two. How much tea should you drink? Uh, to gain the maximum health benefits from tea, particularly for lower blood pressure, it's recommended to drink between two to three cups of tea a day. And this moderate consumption has been uh, linked to significant health advantages, including improved heart health and reduced blood pressure. How much black tea is too much? Well, you want to pay attention to the amount of caffeine because black tea has twice as much caffeine as green tea and too much caffeine will cause you anxiety, uh, restlessness and inability to cause inability to sleep. Question number three, how long does it take to see an effect on your blood pressure? So drinking two cups of hibiscus tea a day for two to four weeks uh, helps reduce your blood pressure, which uh, noticeably affects between one and a half to four hours. Uh, but patience is key because when it comes to uh, seeing the effects of tea on blood pressure, it typically takes uh, several weeks to a few months uh, of consistent consumption to gain the maximum benefit. So make sure you're consistent and give it some time. The results will be worth the wait. And to learn more about lowering your blood pressure naturally, watch this video, Blood Pressure, Top 7 Drinks to Lower It Naturally Without Medications. I'll put a link above and on the description below. Let's look at question number four. What about tea extracts? Both hibiscus tea and green tea are available also in pills and capsules and uh, powders and come in uh, different strengths. And here are some uh, points to consider. The benefits are, for instance, green tea extract contains high levels of the uh, antioxidant, including the EGCG, a very powerful antioxidant, which can help lower your blood pressure and uh, uh, provide other health benefits. And the consumption of uh, green tea extracts may have e even anti-cancer protection against various cancers, the esophagus, uh, stomach cancer, and prostate cancer. And there is even FDA approved the green tea extract ointment is available for uh, treating genital and perianal warts. Uh, word of caution, uh, be aware of the high caffeine content in some extracts which can cause side effects like anxiety, uh, tremors, and uh, uh, sleep disturbances, and there has been reports of liver damage with some tea extracts. And here's the bonus tip that I promised you at the beginning of the video. There are other ways of naturally lowering your blood pressure uh, without medications. Imagine combining these strategies uh, to achieve your ideal health. If you do everything right, you adhere to a whole foods plant-based diet. You cut your sodium, 
you increase your potassium in your diet, you decrease your saturated fats and sugar-sweetened beverages, you eliminate alcohol, you exercise 150 minutes a week, and maintain your body mass index less than 25, you can expect a significant drop in your blood pressure. And research shows that each step can lower your blood pressure by 5 to 10 millimeters of mercury. But if you combine them all, you could decrease your blood pressure by 45 to 60 millimeters of mercury, potentially reducing, eliminating completely the need for a lifelong medication. And remember, every 10 millimeters decrease in systolic blood pressure uh, reduces the major cardiovascular events by 20% and overall mortality by 13%. And to learn more about other ways of lowering your blood pressure, naturally check out this other video, Top 7 Ways to Lower Your Blood Pressure, naturally without medications. I'll put a link above and on the description below. But remember, your health, your most precious asset, take control. See you next video.